for sale sign. <laughs> That's so funny. Huh. Oh, that for sale sign was not there last time. No, it was not. You know, there's a, last year there was a sign at the front of the property saying that it's available for development, but now there's a fresh for sale sign right on the doors here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. And, uh, I mean, keep in mind, I'm talking from like severe diabetic brain from last year, but I don't remember it being like this well maintained. Like there were a lot of like broken windows and places where people could get in and we'll check that as we go around the exterior of the property but uh, it looks like someone's taking some effort to keep people out you know the fact that they have this uh, for sale sign up here gives me some hope because when I used to work with the organization that I work with when I used to work in southern Alberta there was a facility out in the town of Raymond it used to be an agricultural college and then it was a mental health facility and we used to have to go and check on it when it was abandoned, disheveled, like absolutely destroyed graffiti. People would break into it all the time. And there was this huge dispute between our organization that wanted to demo it and the town which wanted it to uh, be like labeled as a historical monument. But or a historical landmark, but nobody really wanted to take responsibility for it. And eventually a private contractor actually bought it and completely restored it. And now it's like been completely cleaned up. It has power. Uh, they would put Christmas lights on it and everything. It's, yeah, I, I love to see what the inside looks like, but that's just kind of what comes to mind when I see this. It'd be amazing if somebody were to actually take this and restore it and turn it into, turn it into something that could be used in modern day. Just over here from the entrance, we've got an old rusty door from a locker. Yep. Interesting. I think somebody once scratched their names into it and that was scratched out again. <laughs> <laughs> but did that happen when it was in use or after it was retired? It was potentially like a kindergarten to high school kids. Could be either really. <laughs> right. So if my memory serves me correctly, which uh, as I've said, my memory last year was a little off um these uh spots here some of these weren't boarded up before you can see someone's really put in an effort to board this up and keep it covered to keep people out which is good at least someone's taking care of it and they've even moved a whole bunch of rocks up to make it more difficult to get in so that's great to see found another locker door it's part of oh. the rubble it's part of the barricade I think what happened is they removed a, uh, I don't know what they call it when they have a, a portion of lockers as part of a shelving unit, but I think they removed an entire batch of lockers. Mm -hmm. Most of it's been taken away, but some of the broken doors are here and got incorporated <laughs> into the rubble. Yeah. Looks like they got two of them in there, actually. Oh. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. Keep out, you dirty vandals. <laughs> like an old carpet in the bushes there just in this little alcove and that window up there is completely locked and boarded up and there probably yeah there probably was uh, roof access up there too Yeah, to my memory, a lot more of this was open when we came here last year. So it's nice to see, it's really nice to see that someone is taking care of this. Like, you know, obviously for us, it'd be cool if we had more access points to see inside, but it is nice to see that someone is trying to actually preserve this place and not just leaving it to crumble and fall apart. Well, if they want to profit by selling it, you want to sell something that is 
as less of a wreck as possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, you got to find the right person that's passionate about something like this and will actually restore it. Okay, that wood's got some screws poking out of it, but it's the um, the head end of the screw, so should be safe to stand on. And there's a little opening here. They've got a pipe right there. Okay, I see, oh, just everything's been cleared out. There's an old, what looks like an old deep freeze down there an old fridge, uh, stuff like uh, light fixtures and other stuff hanging from the roof. There's an old chair down there. It's like a chair from like a spy movie where you'd like be interrogated and beat up. Yeah, old lone light hanging. Yeah, not much of anything. Someone's definitely taking care to come in here and uh, clear this place out which makes sense if they're trying to if they're trying to advertise to someone to buy it mm -hmm. i just like little details like this you can see there was an edging of stone just a couple feet from the foundation mm -hmm. so they must have had gravel filled in here make it easier on groundskeeping so they don't have to weed whack right up to the edge of the building mm -hmm. and then this edging of stone which you can see goes just a little bit past the far corner Well, there's a whole bunch of uh, rusty nails. I want to have those on my feet. There's a bunch of nails sticking out of that wood there. So just be careful if you come over here. Okay. We've got... Uh, Little like metal strapping going up. They probably had like a pipe. That, pro that was probably for a drain pipe. Yeah, you can see the top where it would have attached to the gutters up there. Yeah, it's probably for yeah a rain gutter drain pipe. Mm -hmm. And then they've got a fixture of rocks down here. Oh, I found a piece of pipe. Yep. Oh, that's as good a place as any for it. Looks like there's a few pieces down there. Hello, little friend. Oh, you found a grasshopper? Oh, there's, there's a million of them out here, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, they probably thrive in a place like this. Come on, my little friend. All the tall grass. Come on, my little friend. There did we make, go. Did you make a friend? I made a friend. He's probably going to jump straight into the camera. <laughs> I regret nothing. What happened to your other antenna, my little friend? Aww. I've seen terrible things. You going to jump? It's like, no, this is warm. I'll stay here. We're fine. <laughs> You're the first anything I've seen in a long time. This must be part of the duct system. I don't know the significance of the heavy rock stacked on top of it. Could be just bored kids. But yeah, big pile. Oh, you can see some of the some of the metal parts that would go over top of a radiator there. And a lot of screws and nails, so you gotta be careful. Broken glass everywhere. I don't know how stable it would be, but how cool would it be if we could actually like get up on the roof? You were one of those kids that would totally do that when you were a teenager. I'm one of those adults that would do that as an adult. That would be so cool to get up there and see that see the view and see what it looks like up there. I don't know how stable it would be, but if somebody literally walked up and went, hey, you want to go up on the roof? And I'd be like, yeah, I'd do it. <laughs> you look like a reputable individual that won't murder us. So coming around on the other side of the building here, just checking my feet, looks like just a bunch of broken glass. We've got another spot with an opening with another pipe. I just want to be really careful I don't drop my flashlight. Oh yeah, so there's the chair that I saw from the other side and yeah, just another view into the very, very well cleared out basement.
What is that, an old sweater? It's not even that old. I don't know why it was left behind. Uh, rip curl. So far I'm not seeing any big tears or anything. That, uh, that's like a sweater that, like, Grandma would make for you. No, no, this is kind of in vogue today, these ch kind of chunky sweaters. Oh. I'm leaning towards putting this into a bag, tying it off tight, and if we do a laundromat day, cleaning this up. Well, kind of flies in the face of our take only pictures, leave only footprints policy. It's already garbage. <laughs> I know. I, I had, wouldn't. You've had weirder souvenirs. Not, not from abandoned places, I haven't. I don't, I don't really want that in the truck either. I, I don't want to get a disease. It would be in a tied off bag. <laughs> All the buttons are still on. Somebody must have dropped it and then didn't come back for it. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, there's no tears in it. No big tears. The label isn't even all wrecked, so the label's still perfectly white. Spoiler alert, that is not going anywhere near the truck. Okay, so just going over here, watching where I step. Got a propane tank that's like rusted to perfection, and there's a little small alcove here. Oh, hello. We meet again. We meet again in the hole in the, the foundation this time. Would you really call this a hall, more of a hovel? This is where people of culture sometimes come to congregate. Exquisite culture, yes. <laughs> well, have fun with your weird non-existent barbecue. It's a hovel. <laughs> I see another locker door up there. Yeah, this would not be hard to get up onto. Like you could use like like a, like about my my buddies when we were kids and significantly later. You just stand use the locker door and some other stuff, make like a step or a platform, get a buddy to boost you up, climb up. Yeah, you could get up on that roof pretty easy. I'd be worried about the roof being made of not much more than tar paper and you'd fall through. Yeah, you don't think about that when you're a little guy. You were a statistic waiting to happen, weren't you? Pretty much. Yeah. You can see a couple of the upper level windows have the chicken wire rolled up out of the way, whether it was somebody inside or outside doing so, but all these easier to reach windows, whether they were already broken or not, are boarded up. So somebody's taking some genuine effort to avoid any more damage to this building than necessary. Whether it is salvageable and able to be renoed or whether it's going to be demoed, I wouldn't be able to say. That's it for this abandoned beauty. It's great to come and see the Cameron School again. We did check this one out last year. It was part of that whole CNP series that never happened last year. So it's great to see that somebody is taking efforts to keep people out of it and preserve it. Hopefully they end up doing something with it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it happened for that one facility I used to go check on at work and uh, maybe it'll happen for this one. Maybe the next year we come through here, we'll see even more developments. Yeah, maybe it'll have Christmas lights on it and power and propane tanks that don't look like they're from like a war <laughs> post-apocalyptic relic. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to get back on the road and uh, go do some more adventuring and exploring. We'll see you in the next video.